What's going on everyone? I wanted to talk about Bitcoin and just how many Bitcoin uh, are available. If we could divide it all up, uh, what's out here globally for each person on Earth. But first I wanted to show you an old uh, Casatius. It's a physical Bitcoin. This one is 0.5 Bitcoins issued in 2013. And as you can see, it's been redeemed, which means someone has uh, peeled off the security cover feature to redeem the address and someone has redeemed this 0.5 Bitcoin pretty cool piece but anyway back to the numbers I think it's very interesting you know if we just simply break down uh, uh, the population there's approximately 8.2 billion people okay on this earth but there was only 21 million uh, Bitcoin that will ever be mined right so we're over 20 million now. We're getting closer. Majority of Bitcoin have been mined and due to the halving events every four years, you know, it's getting less and less that's being mined. So it'll push us out to, I think it's like 2140. But anyway, with those numbers, if we divide it all out, there would be enough Bitcoin. If it was all mined and all available, there would be 0 0.0025 uh, Bitcoin per person. Now we know that would change a little bit because as you go out to 2140 the population is going to change. Maybe more or less Bitcoin available depending on several factors. But if you dig into it further, you know approximately if you would just guesstimate say 6 million was an estimated loss there would only be 15 million Bitcoin available. And now we're driving the number down even lower so there would be less Bitcoin available per person. But if we even look further, uh, currently they're estimating that 7.8 million is the estimated loss on Bitcoin. You know, almost 8 million Bitcoin have been lost. Um, so maybe some more could be recovered, but I think it'd be countered out with more will be lost too, if you look at it that way. So if we factor that into the equation, there would only be like 13.2 million Bitcoin ever available. So 13,200,000 BTC. If we divide that out, sticking with the same current uh, global population to 8.2 billion, that'd be approximately 0 0.0016 Bitcoin per person, okay? So if you don't have any Bitcoin or don't have that much, you know, you can start dollar cost averaging, buying weekly, accumulating now. And if you get up, you know, over 0 0.002 Bitcoin, you already got more than the your line share of this global population. So a good goal is just, you know, get 0 0.001 Bitcoin, try to work your way up to 0 0.01 Bitcoin, and then from there, you know, you could just continue and maybe get 0.1, or you know, if you have more money than that, maybe you could buy one today. Um, but I do think the price will continue going up. Not financial advice. But you know, just as us as a human species, once something becomes adopted and there's uh, only so much available, we tend to want it, right? And we're seeing that now with institutional adoptions coming in with the Bitcoin uh, spot ETFs. And you know, I, I do, I buy that. I buy some uh, physical Bitcoin. Uh, I had some uh, uh, physical Bitcoin pieces, some current pieces that are loaded with Bitcoin. And then I just do some of the basic uh, buying on Cash App. I do a weekly buy of uh, the Spot Bitcoin ETF on um, Fidelity, FBTC, uh, Fidelity Wise Bitcoin. So that's one, another way I do it. And then I, I also have a Venmo uh, credit card and I have it set to automatically purchase Bitcoin once a month with the rewards. So I get cash back re rewards, whatever I get, it automatically buys uh, BTC. So that's another way to accumulate. I have a, um, what do I have? An iTrust Capital Roth 401k account. And you know, I've been accumulating Bitcoin in there for three years now, you know, the amount I can do. But I did a video on how to buy it on Cash App, you know, Venmo and Cash App, pretty straightforward. I did a video on the iTrust Capital and I got a link in there. You know, if you do something like that, you want a great tax advantage potential savings I mean just in theory right not not financial advice but if you could buy a full Bitcoin uh, today on the iTrust capital platform and just say you had roughly 60,000 in there 
Bitcoin does a 10x, you can see the potential in uh, tax savings that you could get. And it's a good timing for me. You know, at my age, I've only got you know less than a decade to go. And at 59 and a half, I could withdraw that, right? Potentially making a lot of money tax free. So I wanted to talk about that today and just share with you guys, put some of the numbers in perspective. Um, you know, the, the Bitcoin, there's not very much available for each individual. So if you're early to the game, and you can buy, and I mean, I don't see why this thing won't continue to grow. It's been growing for the last, what, how many years now? <laughs> it's, uh, 16 years-ish. Um, so I don't think it's going away, it just continues to grow. So physical Bitcoin, cold wallets, cold wallet storage. Um, if you trust, you know, you can keep it on some of the exchanges. That's a personal choice, like the uh, Venmo and Cash App Exchange, Coinbase Exchange, etc. Or if you're interested in the spot Bitcoin ETF, I recommend Fidelity. That's just the one I'm comfortable with because they custody their own uh, BTC in lieu of the spot Bitcoin that you hold or anyone holds on their platform. All right, guys. So thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you don't feel like you're behind the game now. There's still plenty of time to buy some Bitcoin. Peace out. Hey guys, thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed it, please give me a subscribe.